Welcome to Functional Horsemanship. We're continuing on with getting your horse ready for the trail. When you're on the trail out there, being riding around in neighborhoods or out in the open wilderness or the desert, you're going to encounter some things that are going to cause your horse some anxiety. I've just got a simple yellow uh, tarp or poncho with some sand and some, and some old socks to weight it down. Uh, my horse doesn't seem too concerned about it. If you're doing this for the first time, you're going to want to lead your horse in hand up to the obstacle, let him have his head, let him see what that obstacle is. Uh, I know Junior's not going to be too concerned about it. I'll be able to ride him straight across it. So I'm going to show you what to do when you encounter such an obstacle when you're on horseback. If I get up to an obstacle here, and he gets agitated and I start jerking on him. That's just, just going to cause him more anxiety. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to let him have his head in case he wants to smell it. If he appears to be uh, nonplussed by that, I'm just going to keep him straight, give him the cue to go forward, move him right across that obstacle. Again. Straighten him out. to go forward. When you encounter an obstacle in the field like that, your horse starts getting agitated, he starts moving around, don't force him to go across that obstacle. Just keep him straight, keep him from bolting. Don't be too heavy on his face, whether you're riding with a bit or a hack like I do. And then once he gets relaxed, and he'll get relaxed when you see his ears moving back and forth and he quits moving his feet. And he wants to put his nose down and then urge him forward a little bit. If he stops on his own accord, let him until he gets more comfortable. That'll keep you safe and make your horse braver. Safe journey, functional horsemanship.